and welcome to this solution video for Workout Wednesday 2021 week 20. Can you compare a selected date to the same day either last year, last month or to yesterday? Now with this dashboard um, I just created a ban and a line chart to show the comparison range. You can switch between same day last month and compared to last week. You also have the option to change which date you're looking at by either using the parameter or clicking on the line chart. And you can use the reset button to reset it back to the original date. So I'm going to go through and show you how I created some of these calculations. There are several different calculations that feed into each one of these worksheets. And the main aim of this Workout Wednesday was to create a same day last year and month to create a like for like comparison. There are many ways you can do this, but here is my way. I needed three calculations, last week, last month, and same day last year. I originally also looked at yesterday um, but in the end I used last week instead. So let's have a look at our last week sales. And this one's fairly simple as you use a date add and you do minus one week to get last week's date. Um, the reason I did a window sum is because when using the parameter to select the current date, it would remove all the other data, whereas the window sum, you can duplicate the same value across all records. Let's have a look at how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our order date, option drag or right click and drag order date and select discrete. And I'm just going to filter to um, this year and this month. I'm just going to do June and May. And now if I put our sales value onto text and if I look at our last week sales, you'll see now that it's repeating the same value across all of our rows. Whereas if I edit this and remove that window sum and click apply, you'll see that it's now only replicates on the week that is the previous week, so the 25th of May. So that's why that window sum is beneficial, is now that I can um, hide all the other records and just bring back that particular record of our um, June 1st. And the way I also did that was I did a today equals order date. And we're just looking at the today, which is the parameter, um, is the order date then last equals zero. If I add that onto my filters and select false, it'll only then bring back the uh, latest value, which is the latest uh, today's date. And and the same again with with that last month sales. So um, if I look at this, what this calculation is doing is you could also use <coughs> the date diff minus four, uh, yeah, minus four weeks to bring back the right value. And that's basically um, the same as this calculation. But basically this is looking at one month prior. So this first section is saying, um, take a look at the, the week minus one month of today and roll that up to the week level. And does that equal the week of the order date and then also take a look at the weekday of today and see if that equals the weekday of the order date and then give me back those sales. So now again I can add that into my view and um, it's not quite bringing back the right value because I have my month year filter on there. So I can remove that and now it's bringing back the correct value. And finally, we have our last same day last year. So if I look at this one, 
we're now taking a look at this. So saying, uh, does the year of order date equal year of today minus one? So that will then equal 2020. Does the week of the order date equal the week of today? And then also, does the weekday of order date equal the weekday of today? So it's bringing all of those things together to bring back the sales for this time last year. And then finally, I just um, added them into a calculation where I'm using a parameter to select which one I want to look at. Um, again, yesterday I didn't use in the end, but we're looking at same day last year, last month and last week. And then I just duplicated all of those values because I needed to get the reference date back. So if I have a look at this one, I basically change where it said sales to order date and also changed it from a sum to a minimum because you can't sum dates. So therefore we can just use this minimum date. And then once it's all on one worksheet, if I go back to have a look at the ban, you then just need to add it all into your onto your label marks card. And then you can color it based on the difference. So if I just show this one, we're just looking at the sum of sales minus the comparison divided by the comparison to get whether it's above or below um, zero to get the colors. And then finally, the last thing I did was I also did a line chart to look at the trend over time. So this is looking at today's date and the comparison date. And, and the way I did this was I used a um, dual axis to create the dots at the end, but I then also created a new calculation and called that size and basically looked at the, the comparison date because that's a true false. And the today equals order date is null. Um, the way that I've set that calculation up is the way it works. And so that's then the comparison date. And if the today equals order date, then um, selected date. Else hide. And then um, I right clicked on the hide option over here and hid all of those records to get rid of the uh, marks in the middle. I also did the average of minus one so I could get my labels at minus a thousand, sorry. So I could get my labels right at the very bottom just so that it would um, look a little bit cleaner um, on my line chart. And then finally, all I did was on my actions, I added a select a date to my line chart to be able to create a reset, uh, sorry, to create a, so when you click on a mark, it'll then change the parameter in the top left. And then my reset button, if I just go into this, you'll see that my reset is just a calculation of today. And that's what feeds into the parameter afterwards. So you'll notice in my dashboard actions that I have this reset option. And that's basically using the reset field to reset the parameter to today's date. And that's basically everything for this Workout Wednesday. Um, I hope it wasn't too complicated for you. Please feel free to download the workbook um, and let me know how you get on with it. See you all soon. Bye.